in terms of being a game changer, did it change the frequency of black cinema? You know what I mean? By, by giving us a vibration that we had never had. Like, even watching it tonight, a lot of that stuff still doesn't exist. I mean, but I want to put this. Brandon, you haven't said anything except for put an envelope in a toilet. <laughs> Specialty. No, no, talk, talk to me about your parents, but the movie's impact. Seeing it again tonight. Well, I, I think what's super cool um, about Cooley High and the zeitgeist um, is that rappers... Um, like common people have referenced this movie. Um, it's been an inspiration for people like outside of film as well as obviously hearing things like John Singleton was influenced and, and Spike Lee has always been super kind and um, generous uh, about my dad's work and the influence that it had on him. But just people outside of actual film um, referencing Cooley High, and I think there's kind of an uh, idea of the intelligent poet and the, the, the warrior poet that's represented in the character of Preach, and so it is that idea that you can be intelligent and still be strong as a black man that came out of this movie and the, those performances that were given not only by Glenn Turman, but by the mentor figures that you see in his life. Um, I, I think that's, that's super impactful, and I think it's lasting, and um, people still drop it. The impact, it changed a whole lot of people's lives. It, it, first of all, I can speak on it in terms of being a professional actress, but more so in terms of being a member of the Cabrini-Green community, uh, because we, we got a bum rap, as, as most African-American communities do. We, we uh, the, the press, the way that they, that they pictured and showed who we were uh, in terms of the violence and the drugs and the, and the negativity of the area uh, was, uh, of course, it sold a lot of papers and it uh, made people turn into the news and that's the purpose of it, but it was lies. Uh, what it did was it showed our community in a way in which we saw our community. Yes, we did have gangbangers, and yes, we did have Rick and, and, and Norman, but we also had a lot of love. We yes. had a lot of community. We had a lot of people who took care of each other and cared about each other. And the negative part of our community was very, very, very small. So it, it gave us a sense of pride and dignity that we had never had before. And it changed the whole tra tra trajectory of our community in a way that I can't even explain except to say it was absolutely wonderful to see ourselves. For amen real. and amen and amen.